Now it's not like that we didn't have any multimodal image models but Llama 3.2 is new because you can use that locally. So Llama models are a new multimodal capabilities that enables Llama to interpret the visual information. We have Llama 3.2 vision on Olama and we are going to test this out Olama both the sizes 11 billion and 90 billion sizes on our cloud GPU. But Llama 3.2 vision is a collection of instruction tuned image reasoning generative models in 11 billion and 90 billion size. Now let's look at the model information. So this Llama 3.2 vision collection of multimodal large language models is a collection of pre-trained and instruction tuned image reasoning generative models in 11 billion and 90 billion sizes. So text plus images in and it will get text out. The Llama 3.2 vision instruction models are optimized for visual recognition, image reasoning, captioning and answering general questions about an image. The model outperforms many of the open source and closed source multimodels on common industry benchmarks. Now, how did I develop this? Little bit of theory. So, model architecture is Llama 3.2 Vision is built on top of Llama 3.1 text only model, which is an auto regressive language model that uses an optimized transformer architecture. The tuned version uses SFT and Reinforcement Learning from Human Feedback or RLHF to align with human preference for helpfulness and safety. Now, to support image recognition tasks, the Llama 3.2 Vision model uses a separately trained vision adapter that integrates with the pre-trained Llama 3.1 language model. The adapter consists of a series of cross-section layers that feed image encoder representation into the core LLM. I hope you get the idea. So we have two models, 11 billion and 90 billion, that input modalities we can put in text and image and the output will be text only. Don't expect an image here. This is not an image generation model. It's an image interpreter model. It will look at an image and give out the text, give out the explanation of the image or what it sees. The context length is 128K. We have data volume of 6 billion has been used uh, for training this and knowledge cutoff is December 2023. Let's go and test this out. Now, if you're using Olama, that's great. If you're not, you can just use Olama, olama.com and you can go and download Olama on your local system. It's available for Windows. It's available for Mac OS. It's available for Linux. Since I'm on my Windows system, I can go here and download for Windows, get that exe file, install it. And once you run that, you will have this Olama button now on the bottom. Now what you can do is you can go to any CMD and type in Olama list and you can see the list of models that you have. Of course in your system you will not have any models if you're running this for the first time but these are the models that I have downloaded. Now in order to get any model and download any model you can go to this model section here and there you'll see so many different models that you can use. Now this is the latest version. So what you can do is you can go here, Llama 3.2 Vision, and you can copy this and go to your CMD and run it here. This will pull all the model and set it up. But I really wanted to show you the 90 billion parameter Llama 3.2 Vision, and therefore I decided to use Novita AI. This is the API, serverless, and GPU instance all in one cloud. You can go through my link and sign up. Once you have that, you can go to this console section, and there you can deploy your own secret GPU instance. So I'm gonna go with PyTorch 2.1, and you can see we have so many different GPUs available. I'm gonna go with, let's say this, or I'm going to go with 4090. Let's say deploy here. I'm going to increase the container image to 100 GB. And then I am going to export some HTTPs as well. Let's say 9008 and click on next. Click on deploy. This is going to deploy your private GPU. Okay, we see that this is running here. So you can go and click on connect. Then you can click on Jupyter Lab. This is going to open a Jupyter Lab for you to test everything out. Well, we have this. Now we can go and do some things. So we can go to this terminal here and check if Olama is available. 
I guess not because this is just a fresh thing. So Olama is not found. Now, since this is a Linux environment, we need to go to Olama here and click on download here and then go and click on Linux. So these are the instruction of installing Olama using Linux. So I copy this command and go back to my terminal and paste it here and press enter. Oh, the curl is not found. So for any virtual GPUs or cloud GPUs that you're using for the first time, make sure you have all the libraries installed. In this case, if I don't have curl installed, what I can do is uh, I can say apt get update. This will update all the list of libraries and then I'm going to install the curl as well. So I can say apt get install curl. Okay. So yes, sorry, one more time. I messed up, so I need to put in yes, why? And you can see the curl has been installed in this Ubuntu environment. So I can do the clear here, clear, sorry, clear. And now what I can do is I can go ahead and do this curl installation. So installing Olama to user local. This is going to download Olama and set it up for you. So oh, you see that we have installed this Olama. Now we can go and see and try to run Olama. So let's say Olama pull Lama 3.2 dash vision. And we see that it's not running. So what we need to do is to keep Olama running. So we can go to an another terminal. And in that terminal, we need to write Olama serve. So this will keep Olama running and you can use this Olama now. So we can say Olama pull Lama 3.2 vision. This is going to pull the vision model, which is a huge file about, okay, I've downloaded the wrong model. So we need to go back and search for that 90 billion parameter. I can say Olama run Lama 3.2 vision and 90 billion model. And you can see that this is a huge model about 52 GB and this is being downloaded. Let's wait. Okay, so I have decided to download the 11 billion parameter as well. So Llama run Llama 3.2 vision 11 billion parameter as well. And now we are going to test out some things. We go to a new tab here, click on the Python. So we have untitled one IPYNB. So that's a Python notebook. I'm going to copy paste a code here. So this piece of code and you can just paste it here. So what does it do? So here we are importing Olama and we need to make sure that we need to install the Olama library as well because we are using that in Python. So we install the library and now we have this simple code. So we import Olama and then we go ahead and use this 11 billion model. We say role is user, content is what's in this image and the image is photo1.png. So I have three photos here, so you can have a look. This is photo one, this is photo two, full of books, and this is photo three, it looks like a surgeon. So I have these three photos. So let's start with the first photo. I'm just gonna say run and I should get the results. So, we see that we have the response here, but we are really looking forward for this content part. So what I can do is that I can go a little more inside. So inside the response, I can go, let's say inside the message here and inside the message, I have this content here. So I can go inside the message. I can go inside the content here. So this shows a futuristic high-tech laboratory and testing facility with various pieces of equipment and let's go and see the photo 2 here run this and let's wait for the response this is the photo consisting of computers and books okay we have the content here and we print out the message so the provided image featured an illustration of large dimly lit library with several computers and books library settings and computers lighting books so this is pretty amazing you can quickly integrate into your workflow now in this video we have seen how to set it up for linux but if you are 
using for windows you can pretty much use it on your system mac os it is usable there as well so you don't have any limitations you can use this llama 3.2 vision models locally in your system now this laptop that i'm working on is doesn't have much specs but i'm sure these models will be even fine-tuned and fine-grained to low quantization levels let's say a four bit quantization which will be able to run on my system so having said that i will see you on another video I'll sign up for novita ai through my link and i will see you next time